Look at this hog. First Pogo Power Sports. This bike definitely earns its legendary status, bro. It's time, buddy! It's here, dude. It's here. We didn't even tell them it's coming. <laughs> Trailmaster MV200 mini bike. The absolute Mac Daddy of all mini bikes. This thing, there's almost nothing mini about it. Should we? You wanna help me get this out of here? Yeah. Uh, let's do that. Let's you like how I caught it, though? Dude, look at this thing, bro. Oh my God. How gnarly is it? So Go Power Sports sent us this bike with the intention that we put our Tyrannus spin on it and we're actually gonna be racing this down in Texas at some point. Uh, Go Power Sports has got a big race in the works. We'll talk more about that later, but I'm just really excited. I have always wanted to ride one of these things, man. You remember Lonnie's at Cars and Cameras? Yeah, that thing was nuts. Yeah, it was hard for me to keep up with them in the red cart. So we got some really cool plans for it. But for today, I say we just get it out of this sweet shipping container and assemble it stock, huh? That sounds great. Let's do that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> You want to be careful that you work your way around on these just like anything else you're tightening because you can snap these uh, cast hangers easier than you would think. Dude, you had one job, bro. What is this? Dang it, Bobby. So we're fully assembled. I had one little hiccup that scared me a little bit that I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, I watched Go Power Sports assembly video on this before we did ours. And there they tell you that the bike comes with oil in it. So I was like, okay, perfect. We'll start it up, we'll run it, we'll do an oil change after. But then as I was unpacking this thing, tucked un underneath the uh, exhaust was this little thing that says no oil in unit. So I was like, oh my God. Let's make sure we get some oil in this thing. And then I go to check the oil and there's oil in it. So I think the moral of the story is just always check the oil in your engines before you run them for the first time. Looking good, dude. Dude, I think we're good to go. Should we wheel this thing out? Maybe, uh, Get some RPMs in or let it run for a while before we get that first oil change in. Let's do it. Yeah. Look at this hog. <laughs> Full motorcycle, dude. It actually is. So sick. The days of you just like popping the throttle and trying to like wheelie the little ra rascal around is over, bro. Yeah. It's <laughs> a big boy. Oh my God. Dude, look at the freaking. Oh my God. The cruising position. I know this is what we talked about doing, but now I'm, now I'm getting excited. And then back here, I thought these were buddy pegs at first, but dude, this is the trail riding, like be able to get up and actually control the bike. Yep. And those plates, these, these are, these are actual metal. I thought, honestly, in looking at the bike online, I thought these were plastic plates. Dude, I can actually like really lean into this with my ankles and move the bike around. That's really sick. Oh my God, okay. Let's get it, we gotta, I gotta get it started so we can run it for a while. This thing is gonna be too fun, dude. So, 
on your stock MB200. This is just for show. Gas tank is actually down here. So, feeling it's gonna be a little funky. This is gonna be one of the first things that we change. I've got a really cool tank that we're gonna replace this with and give us a lot more extra miles for, you know, like, I don't know, long range enduro racing, something like that. Okay, not that I don't trust Go Power Sports, but always a good idea. First time you start something up, let's get that front tire against a wall. <laughs> Ike taught me that one. Okay, fuel line is on. I wanna say that way's choke. Kill switch is on. Are we good? I think we're good. First pole go power sports? Woo! Oh my goodness. Planking scared me. I thought maybe there was something going on inside the bike, but it's just the torque converter on there. That's how long it's been since we've used the non-Juggernaut 30 series. You forget about that stuff. All right, dude. Now we'll just start it back up, let it run for 30 minutes. We'll come back, dump the oil, and we'll go for a ride. Let's do it. Yeah. We need more gas. Classic. Dude. This thing is so capable. There's no comparison to anything else that we've got, you know? Being able to stand and control the bike and actually like corner better. Cornering was one of the things we were having the most trouble with, you know? Yeah. On the other bikes. Dude, I'm getting a better radius. I'm getting better corners, more controlled corners. And dude, I know how much you love leaning, bro. Look at, I mean. The amount of lean is crazy. Your no peg issues. You can get all the way over. And having your feet this high up, you got your cruising position, super comfy and the seat feels awesome. And then you come back here, dude, and you're locked in. You got the whole bike, stand up if you need to. Handlebar placement is so comfortable. So comfortable. This bike definitely 
earns its legendary status, bro. This thing, this thing's so sick out of the box. I can't even believe it. It's like perfect. If you want a trail ride, yep. Like if that's your main thing, it's trail riding. Dude, this is a sick bike. Even like as is, leave the governor in, run it like this. And it just makes sense. You sit on it, it's comfortable, it's a good size. I mean, you know us, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do some things, but uh, as is, bro. This thing's gnarly. Let's go fill it up. All right.